What's up, y'all? This is Jason Nelson, stand-up comedian, author, writer, producer, live shows, and some more. Focus on the funny LLC. Currently in line at White Barn. I was looking to get me a double cheeseburger with ketchup, mayo, and onion, and a regular fry. Uh, still got some orange juice left. You know, I think a part of my anxiety is going up because... Um, I'm famous. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. <laughs> but I'm starting to live more of my own life out in the open, like the good and the bad, you know, like, because it was a time period. Not that I didn't live my life out in the open, but I was seen so professionally that, you know, people assumed I didn't do certain shit. But I always wanted to put my business first. Plus, I was married with children, so I conducted myself a lot differently. Um, but after having a massive mental breakdown a couple of years ago in front of so many people and then um, being diagnosed with bipolar 2 and anxiety and uh, battling with alcohol abuse and stuff um, for quite a few years now, I was just like, fuck it, I might as well be real with who I am and where I'm at even more. <laughs> it's like... It's like but I be, like, I want to be better, but I do understand, like, I'm kind of, I don't know if I messed up in the head or if I'm just a human being. Because sometimes I be feeling weird and out of place amongst certain people. You know, not everybody, but some people. Um, but I do tend to relate to people who be either been in rehab, institutionalized, uh, <laughs> or uh, brokenhearted. Um, down in the slums, uh, on drugs, that we tend to understand each other a little bit differently than those um, who haven't been like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's something that I got to be honest about. You know, but I want to be relatable to people who like look normal, mentally, emotionally healthy. You know, no problems, no issues. You know what I'm saying? No insecurities. Happily married. Great relationship with their children. Excellent credit scores. Going to heaven. Those are people I really want to relate to. I don't want to keep relating to people that nobody likes no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, last night, I was... um highly intoxicated praying with people who are on drugs um, down on North Broadway at this gas station. Excellent, excellent people. Uh, these young ladies, uh, it was 60, 38, 45, and, you know, I was glad I had a few bucks to treat them to some stuff in the store. Uh, we ended up taking, me and one of the women ended up taking shots together. And then I was asking them how did they get to where they were at in their journey. Like, what was the pivotal moment that changed in their life that got them out here doing drugs and other things. Because I know what happened to me, which when I started turning to alcohol use, um, alcohol abuse rather. And uh, one of them told me something unfortunate happened to her as a child. Another one said when her mother passed away in uh, 2016. And it really reinforced you never know what somebody been through that made them become who you think they are at that moment. But I did want to reinforce to them that I was proud of them, that they're still very beautiful. They're still of great value. They're still of great significance to their community, you know, because I had to speak to them the way I'm learning how to speak to myself when it comes to uh, encouraging myself to getting back on my feet, getting back on track, um, becoming a healthier version of myself and knowing that. If I do stumble and fall, that I can get back up. And then it's a guy who keeps me, regardless of uh, what I appear to be or not to be. Um, hugged. I gave them some, one of them, like some of my hair products that I had in my gym bag, uh, like the leave in conditioner. And she used it almost immediately. You know, she liked the way it smelled, made her hair feel good. And it felt good to do something positive to hopefully have gave them a good memory. You know, because I have to remind myself to be kind to myself. Because I have a tendency to be so hard on myself. But <clears throat> shame and guilt is usually associated with bipolar a lot. <clears throat> so, like this morning, 
after I come down off my hypomania, you know, from yesterday, you know, you get this euphoric feeling, you can do anything and everything and stuff, you come down, then you start feeling worthless, you start feeling as if your life isn't worth living, depression, but I'm learning to push forward regardless of that, um, this morning as I was laying there, I was like, I'm tired because I'm still tired from whatever I experienced a couple the last few years. I'm still tired. I'm still exhausted. And time waits for nobody. Time is constantly moving and going. And I hadn't had time to just really process things. And I'm getting older. Like, I got the grades coming in. Um... I'll be, I'm closer to 50 years old now. Um, I'm still trying to lose the same weight. <laughs> I haven't been lying to get a double cheeseburger with fries. With ketchup, mayo, and onion. My soul feels weird. I don't know if I'm really in alignment with God's will for my life. Sometimes I feel conflicted about doing things that makes me happy. You know, sometimes I I want to be in a relationship, but my shit ain't in order no more right now because, and I don't mean just because I just want to be in a relationship, but like, you know, share my life with somebody that I'm compatible with. Um, I, I still want to travel. I still like making people laugh. I would love to get into more speaking engagements. Um. But I'm not perfect, so people may not want to hear from me. I'm being sarcastic with that. But I will say, if you happen to be one of those people who don't mind, just keep me lifted in prayer. As I continue to pray for myself as well. But um, pray that I continue to be within the will of God. I continue to operate within the purpose I created for. Um... If I seem off, sometimes if you see me in public, um, one, I'm, I'm just one track minded at times. And then two, um, because of comedy and different things, I've just got very popular. Um, and it made my world smaller because I don't really have any friends. So people see me through social media. Some people saw me in live comedy shows and events. Some people think of me in a good way. Some people have bad experience with me because things I said and done in the past when I was my lower self. And in all transparency, I am still healing. I'm just further along in my process of healing than I was in previous years. And like even being back here in St. Louis, it can feel triggering at times, but I'm going to face these things um, head on, you know, compared to how I did in the past. So I got to develop me a routine, a schedule, incorporate certain things. I need better balance. I got to incorporate going to the gym more regularly in between me working. I got to get back on track with my finances, like budgeting and stuff, because I pretty much had lost my mind for a second, and I'm getting back together. And yes, I've been to therapy, but I'm willing to continue to go back to therapy when it becomes uh, feasible for me to do it.